Welcome to this series where we are playing Reforged Eden 2 Beta for Imperium Galactic Survival. In the last part, we spent a little bit of time preparing to go up to the moon of Akua and investigate the Titans. As you can see on the right hand side there, it says fly me to the moon. And what I've done since the end of the video is I've kind of had a bit of a sort out. And what I felt like I needed to take the resources with me that I may need to be able to manufacture extra ammunition and stuff like that. Because I'd like to do everything that needs to be done on the moon um, in one go. I don't want to come back. So we picked up that some stuff there. I'm taking some oxygen with me. I'm also select giving myself a selection of weapons because these weapons wear out very, very quickly. And that's my main kind of level of concern is the fact that we may actually run out of weapons to kill things. I'm also taking the tent, taking a little bit of biodiesel as well, just as a backup. And for some reason, I just feel the need for some hacking of software. We've got the improved light armor. And what I've done is I found some improved medium armor. So I've equipped that, which is about the best I've got. So I think we're just about in the right place at the moment. My main concern at the moment is meds. Uh, we don't have a lot. We got some food, but we don't have meds. And the other thing I've also done is, uh, sorry about this, uh, is I've taken the mobile constructor out of the, um, the other ship. And we're going to take that with us in case we've got to make some more ammunition. Anyway, so we might as well just jump straight in, turn the thrusters on, turn the oxygen on. And we're going to get up, straight up into space. And we're going to fly to the moon. And of course, the first step's going to be is to investigate the Titans, which I'm hoping will go relatively smoothly. <laughs> you can never tell in this game. Um, simple sometimes becomes incredibly difficult, and sometimes difficult falls just drops into place. And there is Akua's moon. So the first thing we're going to do is build up there turn off the inertia drives it's going to take a little while to get there so what I'm going to do is fly towards the moon I'm going to ping out because um, we do have a couple of nice asteroids if we could find them I certainly wouldn't mind finding mind finding the magnesium and the promethium asteroid cobalt asteroid as well would be quite useful because uh, the cobalt would be very much what we would need to make a uh, capital vessel. And of course the Promethium and the Magnesium means we'll be able to make better quality ammunition as well. So we're probably gonna have to end up mining that, but uh, my main concern at the moment is getting to the moon and we'll see how much loot we're gonna have to pick up there. Welcome back, we are just breaking through there. All right, we've reached the moon, I lied. Uh, display the coordinates of the Titans, transmitting Oh, so it's actually going to tell us where the Titans are. That's going to be quite useful. Band an iron deposit. I don't really want to waste ammunition attacking the aerodromes. Uh, okay, locate the forward section. We will check out the... Okay, we've we'll, we'll kind of been engaged probably by the air... Aerodromes, okay, so the Crash Titan is that way. As I say, I don't really want to get into taking this down. What have we got here? Oh, wow. Got aluminium. This is, Well, this is magnesium, copper. I mean, it'd be nice if there was some gold on the moon as well, but I'm not seeing it. Okay, so we've got some nice level of resources here. Very small magnesium. Very, very tempted, but I want to stay on mission at the moment. Although we will try and uncover as much of this as possible. Because what we may need to do is make several trips out this way, iron deposit. Of course, these aerodromes are going to take a little while to take down. Um, it'd be nice to get the Optronics bridges to put an improved CPU in here as well. Because if we could do that, that means I could put a turret on the top 
and also maybe put the warp drive back in. I think that's going to be the next step. There's a very small pentaxid deposit here as well. Oh, some really nice resources that could be very, very useful. Anyway, we're going to stay on mission for this part. And then we'll depend on what we actually... Wow, I can't see a thing. <laughs> Go green. Luckily we got a um, night vision goggles. Okay, here's the Crash Titan front. It looks very much like we... Yeah, we're right up on the kind of the po the kind of upper limit here. Let's say we'll actually find the various sections first, and then we're. I'm assuming that we'll get as normal. We'll get sent to. I think is it the front section first? Okay, or do we? That's all three sections. I'd have had a for the forward section. That's it. Yeah. So now we can go back and deal with our friend, the minigun aerodrome. Let's see if we can see him. I think he might be trapped in the ship itself. That would, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Okay. Right, we're gonna. Yeah, this could be interesting. Um. What we will do is head for the fridge first. Um. But get a little bit of um look round. I think there's trouble is is if the aerodrome is stuck. Maybe okay, just look round. Is this the warp console? Hit a few keys on the keyboard. Uh, looks like the power is out complete. The reserves will be drained too. I have to run a cable for my suit's power. Connect up the power supply. I don't like that. I don't like the look of that warning. Uh, system logs. Upload to external device. Okay. Well, I'm glad you think that I'm my skills commander. What makes you think that I'm the one who works either? I'm a strategic class. There's nothing else I, of us we can do with this console. Not necessarily commander. I can read the technical logs. And time stamped events. Whatever you can manage. Um, okay, so this is actually... Okay, well, let's see what this is. What drives use for usage? Significant technical database. Currently able to construct on base common use. A number of schematics have been likely transmitted from satellites across the galaxy to events. See what we can manage with the current drive. Okay. Let's connect the power cable. Be nice if we could pull some oxygen out, but we. Or is this actually. Somebody did say that these now have got admin cores. So the oxygen is a little bit of a waste. Sometimes I wonder, Commander, find the engineering console. Still wondering where that drone... Oh, look at that. Oops. Um, what have we got here? What is that? That is the drone, but I can't shoot him. He's just trapped inside. Anything in here? Right, we got some loot boxes here. We'll certainly take this. Um, it's fairly run-of-the-mill type loot, but we will take it. Okay. 
a shower would be nice as well. Okay. Um, this goes to the outside. Must admit, I'm going to miss not being able to um, loot the Titans because they are quite a really nice source of um, titanium plates. That we've got some cash. Got two plasma converters. <laughs> uh, insert a valid personnel. You can. I can see now that on the upper level looks like there's some juice of battery. Probably okay. Looks like the power, but the system has been locked. There's a slot here for the key card. It looks like we've lucked out. Okay. So, uh, of course, but it could be that simple. I don't there's anything else you can do. You may be able to find a flat key card in one of the crew's quarters. It's unlikely. Oh, wow. All through the floor. Where's the crew's quarters? Okay. Well, the crew's quarters are back this way, but we've already. Oh, wow. Well, OK, I missed that. Remove the key card. OK, pull the card belonging to half a data pad. Uh, no more. That might explain why there's a. OK. We've got some bandages. We'll take the bandages. Turn to the engineering console. Ah. I'm back, Commander. Insert the key card. Um, right, we're going to skip the personal logs. Uh, to external. I don't think this it's smart to hang around here. With, it's in this radioactive wreck reading logs. I've uploaded the files to my PDA, read them later. Have you found anything important in the console either? Nothing of relevance, Commander. I confirm that the records that most of the crew are in the forward section evacuated to the hangar and boarded transports to leave the ship in the middle of the combat. I guess that, that, that I guess that's our next stop. Remove the card key and lock off. So is that the only loot box we got here? Um, okay. I feel that there's more loot in here somewhere. But I'm a bit leery with respect to the not exactly sure what that is. I got him. Probably is I not oh wow, I can root loot. <laughs> okay. We're going to have a, a little bit of a look round. There's another loot box just out here. Um, we've got here iron ingots so well. Um, so not being able to get the oxygen is a little bit disappointing. I'll have another go just in case. No, it won't let us in. And of course, we can't call the building because I think that's about it. Okay, we'll just go back across the roof. A bit of a reload. We've got to go to the middle section now. Um, okay. Rusters on. I'm assuming that that is the middle section that's where it's taken us. Go back to uh, what we call it. Uh, apologies for the Yuki Green, but I don't think there's much we can do about it. Uh, we'll just pull up here, land, and thrust us off. Right. Oh, that lovely fuel there as well. 
which uh, I'm assuming this is uh yeah this is an admin core as well now if I would correct me there never used to be much loot in here this doesn't have to appear um this doesn't appear to have any power should plenty of obvious because this is the situation except on the console there's a card reader next to the keyboard and the UCH keyboard slot in insert yeah we've got to put a fuel cell in insert the card screen flashes and flickers a couple of well-placed kicks to the console okay I'll just a bit of work through this stuff I'm not going to read it flight plan one of them is registered a flight plan after all it could have been one of them already prepared or the crew might be Lexus flight plan there looks like the crew evacuated to the Kronos but it doesn't really help me but since I have no idea what the Kronos and the rest of the fleet went uh, the last place to check would be the rear section of the Titan. If the Cyrix were watching any part of the ship, that would be the one. We need to be extra careful. It'd be, uh, I could be, be stuck jetpacking home. Ah. Yeah, okay. So what is the Kronos then? Consider the size and importance. The Kronos sounds like it should have been a flagship. Okay. I wonder if that's kind of hinting that we were... Um, that the Kronos is the ship that we've got to visit that's probably orbiting somewhere from Bouterstone. Okay, log off, remove the key card. Leave. I think there is a little bit of loot here in this ship, um, but I don't think there's a... Well, there never used to be a major loot box in here. This was... Um, this is the one that you could get fuel from. Uh, let's have a look this way. Because of course this is no uh, okay and of course we can't actually destroy everything anyway this is so painful <laughs> not being able to loot these out um, these, I'm sure there used to be some stuff along here um, no Let's have a look around over here. Just another entrance. Okay. Um, this is where you guys put in and say, oh, you missed this loot box somewhere. What I do see is a shower. A first shower of the game. But at least it got rid of that radiation that's been there for a little while. Uh, look on the positive side. So, uh, come in here. In fact, I think the oxygen's getting a little bit low. So, well, uh, let's kind of boost that oxygen. Back to Rookie Green. A little bit of raw pentaxid there. I think we'll start. See, I'm not getting as much. I mean, I was expecting quite a big pile of loot, but I think we can start fixing, picking up a little bit of um, some of the odd pentaxid. I think this one will actually land. Uh, what I normally do, this one, I normally land on the top somewhere. The yeah, arsenic, so I can head it in and see if I can find any of the active consoles. Yeah, so again we just can't see a thing. I'm sure we could land on this. Um yeah, I think if we can land about there. But I did notice you rummaging for some pockets, okay. No, we got some loot here. We'll do the looting first before we go the console because I'm I get a horrible feeling that we're gonna get an unpleasant surprise. So we're just getting some any routine loot here. Look round. I'm not seeing anything there. Got a mid bay over here. Anything here? We go this way and just have a look round. See what we're finding. Access denied. 
that just goes outside. Whoops, a daisy. Right, we got got a bed. Don't really want to sleep in that. Oh, we'll certainly take that. Pretty more scrapings are a little bit on the rare side. Um, what have we got over here? We go down. Oxygen again. Right, we got. Certainly take the ammo. Estrum gel, that's not, that's quite nice. Not much of it, but I'll take it. Uh, we got plasma cells. Just need the plasma blaster to go with it. So, any standard loot here. Look at that nice big thruster there. <laughs> oh, it's so painful that we can't get it. Um some take some herbal leaves as well while we're at it what have we got at the back here nothing all those fuel cells that I can't take out um, we've done these haven't we probably gone full circle I uh, don't think we've done this. Got a bottle of beer. Uh, what we got here? Health 43. Okay. We're going to take the beer with us. So there's a little bit of silicon. Uh, the stuff there. There's another one just to the back there. Take that. Tie beam antenna. Not that I'm suspicious, but that looks like we found another little. It seems to be a little bit more loot on here. The salt could be useful. Make some more jerky. Yeah, so it looks like there's been a few more loot boxes added. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, we've fallen down the hole. Um, can we get back up into here? Okay. Um, I've not lost my orientation now. Um, okay, we've... So we found the server console, okay. Purely by accident. So there's no response. Uh, I found the console. What's that? Flight recorder. Files unsupported format, not again. Aid aid a primary things. Well, I know you'd be better stop that. Won't be able to get anything out of this Titan if it's incomplete. Like security, alright, you're the boss. Well, console to my suit, what was it? Can you keep it? System doesn't require it anymore, so I guess it makes no difference now. I'm convinced, I've convinced the system that I am Ida. Discussion that the fleet was due to remove the Optonics bridge. Most of the ship's data is corrupted, missing and isolated in the RAM individual consoles. However, I would like you to look at the screen and access the personal records. No match is found. What does that mean? I do not know. It's possible that your personal file was corrupted or lost. May not have been stationed on the Apollo station. And as part of the exploration of it's impossible that you were sent by UCH command more recently, which would explain the time difference. Maybe for you, but for the date, I remember waking up when the escape pod was the 12th of July, 2143, before the fleet was scheduled to leave. So there's still no answer. The bridge consoles are likely saved the fleet's heading. If they're still operational at the time of the crash, the files may be heavily encrypted and will not be able to access them or transmit them until they're decrypted. It may take some time more than... More more than usual since the Relay 451 is moving out of observational range soon. What does that mean? It means that I want to be unable to see if, if any of any Xerox bases on the moon send an attack force. So I will be limited to reading the transmissions for other observation sites on Xerox transmission. Okay. 
Uh, log out and remove the server key. Right, we got a small optronics bridge. So that's a nice kind of start. Here's the bridge ever elevator. Um, I just want to double check. We got everything because I'm pretty sure we are going to get attacked. Um, I think we still got to go up to find the bridge consoles. I just want to, I think that's the way out. That's it there. Why can't I access this one? Well, I think that, oh, there it is. This is the only console on the bridge that has an active power supply, also in bad condition. It's taken some serious damage. Like everything, examine the console. Well, this is a pair of card slots. Authorization, it's too bad. You better fix it with 10 electronics, three optical fibers, and three computers. Um, I got 10 electronics. What, what was it again? Sorry. <laughs> Activate the bridge. So we will see it now. Um, wasn't paying attention. Sorry about that. PDA. What was it? Let's put this in there. We got two key cards. Um, we need some electronics motor well, this is going to be fun right we got we need um we need a computer um i can't remember do i have a computer was I can't see what they actually are. <laughs> Advanced capacitor, mechanical components. Right, we can put two of those in. Was it? I don't know if it was a com electrical components or not. Examine the console. Three optical fibers. Okay. I think I've got three optical fibers we don't need mechanical components um do, do, do. plastic tubing no we're gonna have to drop down gonna use the ship i think where's the optical fibers there they are there we need silicon ingots right i'm not sure yeah okay So what we're going to do is shove that in there and we're going to make about 10 of them. That should be more than enough. Pick that out. Pick that up. Go back up on top of the ship again. Drop you in there. Actually, I'm going to leave the thrusters on. Um, so we're going to burn a little bit of fuel, but I've got a feeling that we are going to get attacked. Okay, examine the console. Repair the console. Okay. So start in safe mode. <laughs> that brings back memories. Um, command, you can access the terminal's console. Files in the terminal are encrypted and cannot be read and transmitted. Access fleet connection logs. Okay. Thought the files were read evenly. Access combat logs. So we got loads of information here, which I'm not going to read. Okay. Continue with log. I have time. I have time. 
uh, go for that. Okay, so we'll uh, access video logs. Okay, so we're getting lots and lots of information. What? Avoid active bounce. Uh, my apologies, Commander. I failed to detect Xerox forces. Yep. Yeah, uh, okay, remove the key card for the console. Uh, need the console. Okay, we've got two enemy bombers coming in. I hate bombers because they're always so lame and hard to hit. I like gnats. Almost like they can detect where you're aiming at. Got a couple of knocks on them. What's the range? We got long range, we just can't hit the like little annoying bikes. What we gotta do is basically try and aim in front of them. See they can they can turn faster than I can. But we are kind of whittling them down, but these are probably some of the most annoying things in this game, as I say, if you've got a turret. They are relatively easy to kind of take down, but Mr. Annoying... See, technically, you can fire at them, but... Yeah, blown another reload on. But probably barely scratch them. couple of shots on that one. One down. Uh, where's your buddy? No. See, it's almost like they know where you're going to be aiming. And they're completely unpredictable Well, I think I'm getting a few hits on them. Just stand still long enough for me to hit you, idiot. Got him. Last. As I say, probably some of the most annoying... Why have I got an... Oh, that. I just want to say, say why have I got an abandoned workshop tag? Of course, that's the one that... I haven't taken down, I tagged it, so to remind me that... Uh, anyway, we're going to go and see what we can get from these. What do we get there? Where's... Oh, oh, well. Okay, we got ground forces out. Attacking us as well. Okay. Um... Um... There should be another one. Is there any de no, he hasn't de-rendered yet. Uh, okay. Looks like we've got a couple of bombs. Um, okay, reconnecting. Okay, we've now reached level 23. There's chapter six, hostile apparatus. The plan to retrieve the secure the logs of crash time failed when the Xerox stealth team have invaded the wreckage under the guise of an attack. Now the precision data could lead us to the location. UCH fleet survivor in the hands of the enemy. The only hope left is to invade the communications sent station and steal back the data they decrypted. Haha. <laughs> okay. Um, it says that there's a... I've tracked it to... Um, there, yeah. right, it says this. Uh, 
um, lightning, th lightning thief. There's something this way which we can. This is loaded to external defences, surrounded by a number of standard defence towers designed for anti air combat commander. Unable to estimate the strength of the Xerox computer system, so it could be an hour or a month before they decrypt the data. Yeah. Um, we've got a cannon drone there. I think. Alright, we've got air defences around. Where have we got to go? Um, is it marked? Or do we have to find it? I'd like to know where it is. Reach the communication center. Okay, it's five kilometers that way. Uh, we'll go and check out what the situation is. Right, there's a maintenance bay there. That won't be it. We've got, we've got terrain that we can sneak in on. Uh, command of the comm station is protected by an energy shield. The only way to damage the structure is bring down the shield with energy weapons. Either that or destroy the shield generator from, or shut it down from the inside. Yeah, well, we've got to shut it down. It says the station entrance is there. Okay. Don't we have the... Where's the back door then? Or don't we have one anymore? Okay, because there used to be the teleporter. This is going to be a little bit of a tougher proposition, isn't it? What happened to the bomb center? Because you used to be able to get in using a teleporter. Um, right, well, let's see if we can sneak in. Uh, reach the station's entrance. <laughs> okay. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. The communications array. That's the way in. Well. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So we're... Uh, just gonna sneak in here. Um, what I will do is just have a little bit of TLC. Um, yeah, we we. We can't afford to lose blocks, so. We need to just make sure everything is all patched up. This this ship isn't exactly set up to take large quantities of damage, so we do need to kind of keep the ship, make sure the ship is in good nick. Uh, do we get any any hits on this side? So we basically it was the left hand side or the port side that was um, okay. This looks a little bit more substantial than it did before. Um, okay, we're just going to check this out. Certainly going to reload the guns. We are going to need the survival tent, wherever that is. We're put everything in there. That bomb is probably a little bit over the top. What's that? Flux coil. Okay. Where is my survival tent? Uh, we're going to have to put the survival tent out. Heavy weapons upgrade kit. Um, the reason I'm deploying the survival tent is the last thing I want to do if I get killed is not be able to spawn back here. Because we, I certainly don't want to spawn in the local position. Um... There should be an entrance into here somewhere. There it is. 
<laughs> Got our first Xerox on the ch on the score chart. This is different as well. Um, okay, that looks like it's the. Um, well, we'll take the food ration. Right, I think I'm just gonna. Um, this looks different as well. Okay, guys. <laughs> that is going to be... Oh, great. Um... I've got myself trapped. 18 meters away. Please... Oh, uh, no, 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 to teach me wouldn't it um and we've got no oxygen we're running out of oxygen as well okay oh, oh no. okay i've got a problem <laughs> find the floor plan to the facility eliminate all the hot died in the explosion Okay, we got a problem. Survival tent. Um, I need my backpack back. And the problem is that we've got to go through the teleporter. To get to the here. Um lost him. Right, let's have a recon of where we got to get to. Where is the shield control? You've got to be kidding me. The sh shield control. Yep. Um. We've got to find a way in. Right. I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. I've got a feeling we're going to die multiple times on this because we can't get back. We've got to get rid of this shield generator. First, so this is a little bit of a trap and we're probably going to die a lots and lots of times trying to get to that shield control and so this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>